I wrote Be Your Own Decorator as a way to offer readers confidence and encouragement to take whatever they loved most from those rooms and then translate it into their own spaces, no matter what the size or budget. So today I want to take Jeffrey D'Souza's living room that I show in my book because it's masculine and feminine. It just has a surprise everywhere you look at it, yet it's completely comfortable. You just want to take a great book and curl right up and be there or have a martini and entertain. So I want to try to help recreate that vibe using Bauer design pieces. Well, a lighting fixture is about personality. It's about bringing in some character. So if you want to look to see if there's anything that might work, we need something big and bold, like these orbs would work. And I too want to have a lighting fixture that is a wow piece. And I found one at Valor Designs that has that same kind of surprise element, but it's not exact. This is it, this yeah. will be good because it's got that great nail head. When I first saw those sticks and leather chairs, I was so happy because to capture this room that I love so much, I had to bring that kind of edgy leather element into my own space. Okay. See, those will be great yeah. for Jeffrey's room. We've got black shades. The Pissarro lamps that we found are not an exact match, but what they have, which I think a lot of people are scared to do, are the dark shades. Because again, it's the dark, moody element that gives the strength to the room. One of the key elements was the idea of extremely similar oranges paired right next to each other. This Davenport sofa can hold a lot of color. And using this image, be daring, go for the orange fabric. And I love how it matches the curtains that we also found in identical fabric. The Jeffrey D'Souza room is about material, it's about color, it's about strength of form. And by bringing those all together, you definitely have a sense of the mood of this room. If you want to see more rooms and be inspired, go to Ballard's design blog at howtodecorate.com.